Greetings, fellow humans. Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at a buddy from another switch I've already reviewed, the MMD Princess, but this one is the linear. So this is the MMD Princess linear switch. I received these from Pulling Keys, which as far as I, I can see, they appear to be the first US store to carry these. Um, they are currently available, I believe, 23 cents a piece at the time of this review. Uh, first, let me go ahead and get the specs out of the way. So this is a 53 gram linear switch. It does come factory lubricated, and it seems to be consistent from what I've seen so far. And I do have 200 of each with some more coming. <laughs> I'm afraid I might buy them out before they get to restock, but so <laughs> you better be quick. Um, they are five pin and thankfully they are five pin with the two that can be clipped and the two metal pins are actually thin enough to work in Otemu and Milmax style hot swap sockets. It's a big plus if you have older Red Dragons, Iyusu, or other boards that use the Milmax style hot swap sockets or even newer ones if you're taking a soldered board and putting some Milmax sockets in it. These are going to work in that. So it's a thing to consider. Um, these particular have an operating force of 53 grams plus or minus five grams the bottom out force is 61 grams plus or minus five grams the pre-travel is 1.8 millimeter with plus or minus two tenths of a millimeter and the total travel is 3.2 millimeters with two tenths of a millimeter plus or minus this does include a 20.4 millimeter two stage spring it is made from a PC top housing, a PA66 bottom housing, and a palm stem. All right, so we've got the specifications out of the way. Now, how does it perform? Well, I've got to say for a linear switch, now I, like many others, like long pull. I'm not one for anemic bottom out switches. I mean, if, if I have to press hard, to barely get a bottom out, it's just not that satisfying. I found early on that even two tenths of a millimeter of, of long pull is satisfying to me. Though there are some stems that are long pull, but still don't seem to deliver that proper bottom out. But I think it probably has to do with the design of their bottom cases. Now, as far as these go, I like heavy. Now, they do come in much lighter, but even at 53 grams, to me, at 53 grams, this is perfect. Usually, I prefer 60 and above, but being that it's a linear and that two-stage allows for a satisfying press, but it doesn't feel so light that if I brush a key while moving my hand across the keyboard, I'm going to be making much mistakes. Now, this switch is... It's... It, it, it has quickly jumped up the ranks of my personal favorites as far as linears go. And for the longest time, I've been a big fan. They are on milky yellows. They're just, they're good. They're not even long pull, but they just deliver a nice sound closer to thought. Now this one may not be quite as deep as a bottom out than a milky yellow, but it's definitely louder and the key cap that you use definitely makes a difference. As we'll see here, I got enough to do a uh, sound test on two different keyboards. Uh, the first one was a stock CIY with some XDA keycaps, and I think it actually sounded really good for a completely stock tester board. I mean, it hasn't been touched. It's pretty good. And then uh, with the aluminum kit, again, it has a very sharp bottom out, and it's almost it's almost got its own tone. I mean, it, it sounds quite different even to, um, and I hate to compare them to, but to the linear Fox from uh, Gazoo, they, they feel extremely similar and they have a very, actually, I, I gotta say, these are probably a bit loud. These are going to be on the louder side of practically any switch you have out there. It, it actually, when they advertise it, they advertise it as having hi-fi sound. 
So I don't know that a keyboard switch can have hi-fi sound, but it definitely is audible. You're not going to miss that. So if you're someone who prefers a nice defined bottom out that you can hear across the room, I think you're going to be happy with this. Anyway, I found this to be a very, I found this to be an extremely well-made linear switch. And then when you look at the price, it, I couldn't help but want to buy more or want to buy some. Like I said, I received my first batch um, courtesy of pulling keys for this review, but I've already placed more on order as I have many different ideas for these when I got these. These kind of reinvigorated me, both the linear and the tactile of these. And I've got some pretty good idea for Frankenswitch, but that's going to be down the line. I've got a lot of projects worked out. I, I will be throwing in at least two switch reviews per week. And again, I'm just going to provide the specs within my opinion. Not much more than that. Well, besides the sound test and let you guys decide. But I do want to hear you guys' feedback. Anyway, today I'm going to go ahead and leave you with several sound tests on two different keyboards with numerous different key caps so that you guys can hear the different tones that arise from both a plastic keyboard and a uh, aluminum keyboard, as well as how those different key caps affect it. Uh, these boards are stock, um, all except for switch pads, which I'm basically doing on all my keyboards now. I just, I, I, I like how it makes the tone warmer on all the keyboards. It takes any harshness out for the most part. So I'll leave you guys with the sound tests for this um, MMD Princess Linear. And I would love to start a conversation. What do you guys think about this switch? If you have it or you have the tactile switch, let's talk about it. What do you guys think about? It? Especially if you have these and other switches, let's compare them. What do you guys think of this linear compared to a milky yellow or say, a Aco CS Matcha Green. I'd love to hear your thoughts and I'd love to see where we agree and where we diverge. So until the next transmission, I hope you enjoy the sound test, but do keep calm and keyboard on.